540, who do you think has the R factor? Fox 5 wants to know who your favorite radio personality is. 32 radio hosts are going head to head for your vote. It is week one of this bracket style challenge. Head over to our website, fox5sandiego.com right now. Click the scene on tab and cast your vote. Okay, it's 540. Speaking of radio, Shali's outside with our friends. And I think radio people coolest names. Tati um, from Z90 was just telling somebody calling him Boo Boo. I think I'm going to start calling Raul. <laughs> Boo Boo. Hey, hey Boo Boo. Boo Boo. Can you, uh, can you uh, get me my scripts, Boo Boo? Our friends from Z90 are joining us, uh, Chunky and Tati, on the back lot this morning. Good morning to both Thank of you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Uh, okay, so let's get to these radio names. Boo Boo, Chunky, Tati. Well, basically people can't see us. So we have to come up with a way to be creative, you know? <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. But you, you like that people can't see you. Is that what you're saying? You're kind of nervous uh, being on TV right now? Yeah, that's why we got into radio. That's why I got into radio. I don't want nobody to see me. Yeah, why? I'm freaking out because yeah. normally people don't see us. I'm, it's so weird that you come to work. You have to, like, do... I she, know. she does her makeup during the show, oh, usually. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? It's, I transform into a butterfly. It's like, it's like and I'm like... <laughs> By the time yeah. you're done with the show, yeah, I'm like, yeah. hey! It's like doing a show with two different people almost. I love it. Um, Junkie, you're, you're newer to San Diego. Yeah, yeah, very Where, new. Where'd you come from? Uh, East Coast, on the east side. Okay. And I had to get away, get nice weather, and I was like, I got to get out of here. Yeah, how do you like San Diego so oh, far? Oh, I love it. It's rained one time in like two months. <laughs> It's awesome. I love it. Isn't that awesome? Uh, where did you get your name Chunky from? Um, should yes, I, it's should I stand question. up? Or, uh, no, actually, um, you know, my boss just looked at me, and my, my real name is, like, stupid. So he's like, I want to give you a, a cool Are name. Are you serious? So he's like, Chunky. And I was like, all right, cool. Zonk it, zonk it away from stupid. <laughs> I'll take it. And then it works, right? Uh, okay, for, for anybody that may not be familiar with the whole format of Z90, what is it, Tati? Uh, it's, you know what, it's a good mix of, I want to say, pop and some hip-hop and just everything top 40, I guess. Like, yeah. so what, what kind of songs? Like, in the next um, you know 40 what? minutes, what will you be playing? I'll tell you what, Trey what? Songs is a hot deal right now. Him and Miguel are coming to San Diego, and we are bringing them, and they are definitely on hot rotation right now. Okay. Flow rider, you know, yeah. all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you also have a, a blog says what Chunky and Tati are saying. Yes. yes. What are you saying? We don't know. <laughs> yeah. So it's usually just a blank know much, blog. Do you? <laughs> yeah, no, we're trying to figure that out, actually. <laughs> we want people to keep listening or whatever we say. Right. But if you go to Z90.com, you can see what we're saying. It's, it's audio from the show. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, gentlemen in the back, do you know you're on camera? Yeah, oh, this is Porkchop. Get him eating his Pop-Tart. Wait, his name is Porkchop? His name's Porkchop. What is with you guys in the name? <laughs> Why is your name Porkchop? Porkchop, who are you? Are you just, just hanging out? Eating no, I'm eating? actually the producer of the morning show. Oh, you're the producer of the morning show. <laughs> You're kind of, no one you're, said live. Aren't they supposed to say you're live? Dude, what's in your, give, give, give what's in your hand. Oh, it's pumpkin. <laughs> oh, look at that. I bought him that. I bought him that. Hold on. Show, hold show him. You have a, like, a little lunchbox <laughs> for your pop <laughs> And then, you know, I was like, oh, I want really? it all, man. You can have it. No, 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 no. I'm okay. You can have your little... Uh, He's the pop tart man. Oh my god! <laughs> awesome. You know what? Gift. Actually, give it to me. Give it to me. It's so good having you guys here. By the way. Oh, oh no! I'm going oh, inside. I'm going to go show Chrissy. Oh, I'm coming in, Chrissy. What is the deal with that? They have a pop tart, pop tart lunch box. Look at this. But they did not know. That's awesome. It's awesome. Yes. See, they didn't know that you were going to make them breakfast. That is so awesome, dude. Who let's, does that? Let's eat their pop tart. Let's eat their. Okay. <laughs> I don't that think. Pop, I don't think pork chop and chunky will be very happy about that. <laughs> I better give it back to Chunky and Pork Chop. Yes, 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 yes. Also, Z90 is hanging out in our back lot this morning. We have the latest news coming up when we check in with Chunky and Tati and Pork Chop and Boo Boo. And That's their real names. <laughs> Boo Boo. Can you imagine what it looks like on the first What are all the real names? Pork Chop. We need well, names Chunky like said, radio names. Chunky said his real name was stupid. What? <laughs> That's what he said this morning. That he thought it was stupid or was really S-T-U-P-I-D? I think that's what he said. <laughs> and then his boss wanted to give him a better name and then said, we can't call you stupid, so we'll call you Chunky. Okay. I'm going to be I'm gonna be speaking with them a little bit later on. I'll give Wait, more information. Wait, we get more information? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's do this. We got Plus, Z90's Chunky and Tati hanging out in our back lot this morning. We're checking in with them for the latest in entertainment news. And here's a live look now at the current market. 
All right, we are live in the back lot. Our friends from Z90 Radio, Tati and Chunky and Porkchop, the producer. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see y'all's birth certificates because that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> hey, thank you guys for being here. We, Thanks we for having love us. having you. Yeah, thank no, you. Thank you. Well, I have a quick question. Am I supposed to look at you or the camera? You can, you can look at me, either one. Okay. It's his first time, so he's yeah. so nervous. Chunky, this is your first time on TV? I almost put makeup on, actually. Yeah. yeah I thought you did have makeup on. You're really a 22 year old woman, <laughs> wow. aren't you? I heard about that. If I could cross my legs, I would. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, Z90, for people who don't know about your radio station, tell us about your show and what kind of music you play and Jobs. what kind of things you guys talk about. Jobs. We play good music. Right on. <laughs> and the only thing we talk about is the money that we're giving away every 15 minutes and uh, what we do news, too, and then okay. our Trey songs and Miguel show that's going to be on November 24th. So that's okay. kind of a big deal. Okay, let's talk about a few things. The uh, Rolling Stones are reuniting. Okay, right? Okay. So they're playing a gig in Paris where the tickets cost $20. That is dirt cheap. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's because that? their fans have to take a flight over there, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> are they going to have like a walker section? Because a lot of their fans are getting up there, huh? <laughs> well, that's true. They're going to have an oxygen tank section on the right? side. Some EMTs with some defibs, you know what I'm saying? They're just waiting, just in case. People have to beef up their medical insurance. That's why it's 20 bucks a ticket. Don't play in the light, man. Don't play in the light. <laughs> Instead of selling beer, they have a defib station. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Taylor Swift is telling her fans to blast her new album from their cars to introduce others to her music. My question is, who doesn't know about her music in the first place? Yeah, I don't know. That's a, her, she's trying to push Red, her new album, and yeah. you know, every single song is a breakup song. So if that's what you're into right now, and you're going through a depressing time in your life, definitely blast some Taylor Swift. I mean, I could see that. Do, do you think that this Kennedy kid is worried about her him her writing a song about him one of these oh, days? Oh, yeah, I think the family is more than. The kid yeah. doesn't know, but I don't the care. family is very, you know. I don't care if you are Taylor Swift, man. If you if you offend one of the Kennedys, I would not do that. <laughs> you might not ever be seen again. That's true. I would, That's not, true. I would not write that song if I were. I wouldn't want to stand next to a Kennedy for too long. I'm just saying. You might have to walk. <laughs> you never know. You know what I mean? Like, what happens? <laughs> Interesting though, I wonder as she gets older what kind of songs she will start to write, like what the topic will be. You know? Well, if she, it, I mean, it, smart artists, they evolve with their fans and yeah. you know, if her fans are little teeny boppers, she's going to have to start talking about kids and getting married and, and buying a house. I say stocks and bonds. <laughs> <laughs> I think you hear a song about the stock market, you know? Uh, Justin Bieber is the first person to hit three billion views on YouTube. Is yeah. that true? Billion? We were talking about that yeah. yesterday and it's it, and it was the recent video um, with Nicki Minaj of Beauty and the Beat that got him 44 million views within 24 hours. So I think Nicki Minaj has a little part in just, you know, pushing him over that edge of three billion. I was just thinking about Justin Bieber as I was driving to work this morning. Yeah. And I was thinking about how, how many years ago was it that he was playing his guitar on YouTube and yeah. somebody saw him. I was listening to a, a Bieber song on the way in, mm -hmm. and I could tell that it was it was it wasn't like a, a 15 year old or 16 how old or 18 how old mm -hmm. it was you could hear producers you you know that like a, a huge crew like made this song was it the one that goes la 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 yeah. la 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 Song together. Oh, I remember his, Usher. his first song that came out one time. He literally sounded like a kid. Yeah. You know, and, and he has evolved so much. He's definitely. It's called puberty. It's a machine. That's a deal. That too. Yeah. But is that sustainable? I mean, well, is that is that fair? And is it sustainable? I mean, what what like Taylor? You know, what will he be doing in five or ten years? Do you think? Spending all that money. Oh, see now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hanging out with Selena. It, yeah, I don't think it needs to be sustainable anymore. <laughs> you know, he's got enough money. You know. He's got the craziest fans. Like of everyone. Yeah. His fans are the craziest. Why do you say that? When we gave away tickets oh. on our station, it was just, it was, let's just say no one called for money or anything else except for Bieber tickets. We had a mother or two that had hair as long as yours uh -huh. cut it into Justin Bieber for tickets for her kids. Yeah. Cut, cut it cut Justin hair. Bieber hair. So she like this tall. Justin Bieber hair do. Yeah. Imagine you with a Justin Bieber haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would work out. No. I don't think that would work out. American Country Awards announces its list on performers for the show in December. What are your thoughts? Uh, Luke Bryan, uh, Lady Antebellum. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, go ahead, Chunky, because I don't know nothing about I country. like Lady Antebellum. <laughs> they really get it going. Uh, I like the guy in Lady Antebellum. He always sounds like he's drinking a Bud Light and he's a good guy. Uh, but the country's crazy right now. Yeah, it but is. But listen to Z90. Now we're talking. 
Hey guys, thank you for being here. You know, Shali Raul and I were talking um, earlier in the show that that um, your name really isn't Chunky. Uh, yeah, somewhat. Uh, somewhat. Working on getting it changed. Okay. Yeah. For the, we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Let's yeah, you guys it. for being here. Z90, we're going to send it back inside now with you guys. Being very mysterious about his name, Chunky. I know. What's his real name? I'm going to uh, get to the bottom of this. Yes, you will. I'll figure it out. Who do you think has the R factor? Fox 5 wants to know who your favorite radio personality is. 32 radio hosts are going head to head for your vote. It is week one of this bracket style challenge. Go to fox5sandiego.com, click the scene on tab, and cast your vote. It is Throttle Thursday. Face the Tigers again. We'll also be checking in with Heather Ford in just a bit. But first, a quick shout out to Chunky and Tati from Z90. They are broadcasting on our back lot all morning long. Share your Pop Tarts with us. We'll be right back. Javon, how much time do I have with Tati and Chunky? Two minutes? One minute. Okay, westbound on the 94, um, right there at the 805, you have an accident, and it is pretty slow behind it. Okay, guys, Z90 in the back lot. Joining us this morning, broadcasting live in our back lot. Good morning, Tati, Hello. Chunky, Porkchop. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? We're good. good. Um, uh, this whole PMS story that you guys have been talking about all morning, do you really think that PMS is a myth? Um, um, uh, to your uh, definition that you gave to our <laughs> listeners, we definitely believe it's not a myth, but they should rename it. Yes. Yeah. It's you, not, you need to do a documentary about PMS. <laughs> Seriously. I get PMS, right? So it's kind of funny. Is that I, I, my whole theory is that I've been talking with all these local doctors um, over the last few years. I mean, some of the best doctors in the world are around here. So my whole thing is like, hey. You know what? It's postmenstrual syndrome, meaning the time that we're all really nice is just nature's way of getting us pregnant, but we're really like yeah. we are for the rest of the month. So yeah. it's really, you should be complaining about us when we're nice. Oh, yes. yes, that's yes, the complaint. Because yeah. when we're nice, we want something. Yeah. <laughs> something that you can give us. <laughs> okay, so tell us about your morning show. And, and, and pork chop, um, I, I need to ask you something. Um, why do you keep eating? Um, pot tarts during the interviews. <laughs> the last interview we did, you know how many tweets I got? Why is that guy back there eating his breakfast? Well, uh, go ahead. I'll, I'll explain real quick. He, he, the way he eats his pop tarts is magical. Like I'll look up every morning. He's just like. So listeners now want to see him and hear him every day eating his pop tart. I don't know what it is. Did you see his wallet? His mm. pop tart wallet? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like uh, like one of those things that you can hold like baby wipes pretty much with. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really pop speak tarts. much. No, one of my first words when I was a kid was pop tarts. Was it really? Yeah, seriously. Like before pop mom tart. and dad was pop tarts. He claims he has a video of it, but we don't believe him. That was a video back in he that day. He said it's an 8 millimeter. <laughs> eight eight millimeter. millimeter. <laughs> hold on. While we're here, I know you were just doing the traffic. I talked about this on the air the other day. Yeah. My goal is to make it to one of your traffic reports. <laughs> so like, I want to be the broke down vehicle on the 15. You can do that in the next hit. You can do that for the rest of the day if you want. I want you to be like, there's a chubby guy in a black car blocking traffic on the 15. <laughs> and here he is. He looks like Chunky from Z90. Oh, that would make my life. You guys, I really appreciate you guys uh, broadcasting in our back lot. Thank you for being here. We're going to talk with you again later on and throughout the morning. Tati, Chunky. Thank you. Pork chop. Z90. Would you say, Alan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> R Factor. Oh, oh yeah, both them in R Factor there. You guys are in the running for That's R Factor. Here. Come on, Chrissy. Go to fox5sandiego.com and vote for me and Tati. Chunky and Tati. Yeah. That's right now. All right. All right. Yeah, guys, back inside with you. All right. Chunky, Tati. I heard about that pork chop. He looks like he's in middle school. Oh. So, am I wrong? No, but sometimes you shouldn't say things that you're thinking. That's not a bad thing. He's a young looking dude. It's a good thing. I'm just saying. He looks like he's a kid. Okay, I guess I'm. <laughs> I know, I know. It's nice to have them here. I appreciate it. Seven thirty-one. It's time for show me your school. Speaking of school, it's probably. Okay, Chrissy Russo. Chunky and Chunky are broadcasting of live from our back lot, Z90. Did you guys just give away money on your radio show? Yeah. Totally did. Cassandra cool. just guessed the high little amount and she's got some money in her pocket now. You have to guess the actual amount. And yeah. It's like between zero and a thousand or something, right? Yeah, yeah. we tell them if they're too high or too low and then 
Did people narrow it down every 15 minutes? And she nailed it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Making dreams come true. We really <laughs> only do it so people will bring us free breakfast. Okay, yeah. now it's just a point for food. Right? Yeah. We do it too, man. I got you. I got yeah, that. Right. that. <laughs> Let's do the weather and the traffic because it's a really drying out. The Santa Ana for traffic and weather live out on the back lot broadcasting with Z90, Tati, and Chunky this morning. Uh, fine. How do you, by the way, we're, we're going to send it back inside now for more news, but can you just, ex can you just, the pronunciation is it Gangnam style? Gang Gang Gangnam. 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 Gangnam style. What? Gangnam style. Gangnam style. Do you know how to do the dance? No. Yes. No. Come on, Chunky. Guys, I'm going to sit back inside. Oh, oh, I want to see you do the dance. Oh, so we'll see you back here in a little bit. Right, guys, good. back inside. Did you see Chunky do the Gangnam style? He did do it just now. Of course, he didn't see it. Thing. And then we're talking with the R Factor contestants, Chunky and Tati from Z90. Watch it right here on Fox 5. Coverage begins at 4.30. Time right now is 9.47. Let's get you out to Miss Erica. So excited to have our friends from Z90 on our back lot all morning long. We have Chunky and Tati and another. We have Pork Chop. And can I just say that you guys have really perfected your um, golf talk this morning? Because we did a segment, I'm not kidding, probably three feet away from your tent. And you were on live on yeah. the radio, but you were talking like this. <laughs> It, it was hard. We tried really hard to keep our voice down. We're like, we don't want to interrupt what they're doing over there. Well, the thing was, is they they were like, oh, no, no problem. You go ahead and go live. And right. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah. So we wanted to be real quiet. And it was yeah. fun. You have a definite good golf voice if you ever want to transition. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes. Okay, so you two are nominated for our R Factor contest. Um, this is where people can vote in for their favorite radio hosts. What do you all think is the R Factor exactly? What does that mean to you? You know, I think it's uh, a, a bunch of people that have a face for radio. <laughs> and yes. I think we're all a little nervous that we're exposed on the website. <laughs> uh, but no, I think the R Factor is, um, I think it should be personality. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and what people, whatever people gravitate toward, uh, everybody likes uh, different people. Yeah. Talk to you agree? Yes. Poor My R would stand for resiliency. Oh, how's that getting deep? Ah. I like that. Did you just think that up on the spot? I did. That was quick. I did. I tried. Pork chop, you're not in this. What's up with that? I think we should maybe try to do like a write-in. I would definitely <laughs> win, that's for sure. <laughs> maybe people could write you in. What do you think? Not me. Pork <laughs> Chucky, you're actually in the lead. Um, you're going up against Co Lewis from KGB. You were tied a little while ago, and now you're in the lead. Nice. Uh, yes, you're two points. So what do you want to say to people out there that are probably on their computers as we speak, voting constantly? All right, I've been waiting for this moment <laughs> my entire life. Okay. Vote for me, because I will not only lower taxes, <laughs> I will make jobs more prevalent in San Diego, and everybody gets free child care. Hallelujah! Did you yes. hear that? I'm Hallelujah. looking for Chunky. <laughs> for me. You're like, forget it. I'm not even care. anymore. I'm yeah. voting for both of y'all because of the snacks on this table right now. We got, we got a little lunch pail with some PB and J. We got some uh, pretzels over there. Some Twizzlers. This is the this is the table to be. We heard you were pregnant, so we wanted right? to set you up. Yes, nice. exactly. And I, I hope it's not ice cream. I will take a Twizzler. <laughs> No, because they're that good. Okay, here's the deal. You can vote for the R Factor. It's going on right now. All you have to do is go to fox5sandiego.com. Click on that scene on tab. Vote away. Vote away. Should we give Raul our, our golf talk? I'll just say, well, can I tell Raul that I love his glasses? Do it in your golf talk, though. Raul, I love your glasses. We love your glasses. Raul. Raul. We do. We do <laughs> love your glasses. He's such a great man. Love your hat. Did Erica say you're supposed to throw away your vote? What did she say? <laughs> no, throw your vote in. Throw your vote in. Don't throw it away. Throw it in. <laughs> now, why would I throw it? <laughs> Who's that baby? Did I miss that part? <laughs> Shout out to Chunky. That's my man out there. 9.50 now.